Hello, lovely Kids Connected teachers, and welcome back to Kids Connected. So today, I'm gonna teach you how to use some of the nitty gritty features in Zoom that I got caught up on when I first became an online teacher. So let me go on over to Zoom and show you these little things. All right, so once you're in Zoom, if you wanna share screen, what you're gonna do is come down here and hit share screen, and that pops this menu up. Now, let's say that you have like a ballet class or something that you wish to share sound on. Maybe you're singing the ABCs to your students. Um, you're gonna go down here and click share sound. And what that does is that checks it in a little blue check mark. And that enables it in real time to show the sound both for you and your student. All right, and then click the picture that you wish to share. All right, now I want, to, I want to teach you how to use the drawing feature on Zoom. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to this little bar, and keep in mind that sometimes it's on weird locations on your screen, so it might be difficult to find, especially because it disappears sometimes. So if you want it to pop up, go through this little green part. Keep in mind that you can't access it through the red because your cursor thinks that you want to stop share. So go through the green, go all the way over to annotate, and that pops up a new drawing bar. This bar allows you to do all kinds of fun features, and it's automatically on the drawing option. Now keep in mind that you can actually change the color of your pen clicking format, and you can also change the, the width of the pen. So if maybe you're writing small words, you can write small. Or if you and your student wish to color, you can color in a large pen. <laughs> All right, now let's say you wanna erase one line. Maybe somebody makes a mistake. You can go through and erase just a single line. Or if you wanna clear everything, maybe you're done, you can go over here and clear, click Clear All Drawings. Now, let's say that you and your student are having fun writing and you realize that only you as the teacher make a mistake. You can click clear my drawings and this will only clear the teacher's drawings. Now, if you write something on the screen but your student kind of scribbles all over it, you're allowed to only clear their drawings if you choose by clicking clear viewers drawings. All right, now it's important to remember that you actually have to clear the drawings before moving on to the next slide because watch, if I go to mouse and I click to the next slide, oh no, it stays with me. So I have to make sure that I clear all drawings before moving on to the next one. And it's also important to note that you have to go back between mouse and drawings. If you stay on the drawing feature, you're not gonna be able to scroll back and forth between your slides. You're gonna have to click mouse before you go on and make sure you clear. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If this bar disappears by chance, if you hit delete and you say, oh no, I don't know what happened, no worries. Just go back up through the green part and go all the way over for annotate. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if your students are kind of young and they're kind of abusing the annotate feature, what you can do is you can go to more and you can click, oh, hang on. You can go over to more and click disable annotate for others. And what that will do is it'll stop them from drawing. Now, keep in mind that their annotate might be turned off. Like if you had the last class and you had like three-year-olds and they weren't drawing on the screen, you weren't allowing them to draw on the screen, keep in mind that in the next Zoom session, um, this will actually be checked. So you'll have to go in and click annotate, enable annotate for others. And what that'll do is that'll turn it on for the students. So if they're saying, you know, teacher, I can't draw, that's probably why. You probably have it disabled. Make sure it's enabled. And if they're being kind of crazy coloring on the screen, it is okay to go ahead and disable that annotate if it's becoming a distraction in your class. 
So that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for joining this Kids Connected tutorial. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please don't hesitate to email me at grace at kidsconnected.com. Thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.